Eyewitness News is tracking developing news in campaign 2016 and the race for president. About an hour ago, Ohio Governor John Kasich dropped out of the race. It was an announcement that was first breaking live at 5. New at 6, local reaction to yet another victory for Donald Trump. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now with the details. With Cruz and Kasich both suspending their campaigns, the GOP is looking to Donald Trump as their presumptive nominee. We talked to local leaders in Rhode Island in both parties about what this means for the general election. More than a dozen candidates fell away, leaving Donald Trump the party's presumptive nominee. Well, I feel very vindicated. While some Republicans, like Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, say they still won't vote for Trump, his honorary Rhode Island chairman, Joe Trillo, thinks that will change by November. Well, I think a lot of people that were saying they wouldn't vote for him under any circumstances are beginning to change their mind. The possibility that he may be president or could be president is horrifying. Democratic Party Chair Joe McNamara says he does believe both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders would beat Trump in November, but he expressed fear that Trump could be nominated at all. Some of his statements that he has made are so outrageous, they just highlight the fact that the world will be a much more dangerous place. Look at the big picture. Don't zero in on these small little things that were politically incorrect. Trillo thinks Trump could even win Rhode Island in November, but the numbers from last week's primary indicate Rhode Island is still a blue state. Hillary Clinton lost and got more votes than the entire GOP field. Trump is now just about 200 delegates away from definitively clinching the GOP nomination, and Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side is leading the pack of two, with about 93 percent of the delegates needed to win the nomination. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News is your local source for campaign 2016 coverage. Stay with us on air and online for all the latest information, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get the latest alerts.